All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're looking to make just a simple timer. There's a couple of different ways you could do this. You could create a variable if you wanted to and have that variable increment each time, basically to add a second to your timer. I'm going to show you a different way, just a extremely simple way to do this. Um, we're going to go ahead and drag out a green flag. Now, this is not the perfect way to do this because you do have a problem with the built-in timer mechanism that it has so if I go down to if I go to sensing and drag the scroll down here and I have timer and if I click on this I can actually see the timer up here and it's at you know 348 seconds because I've had it op had scratch open for a little bit here um, so this will continue this starts the timer the moment you open up um, a scratch so we can we can use that in a program very easily but we do have to understand that this is just going to continue to run. It doesn't operate on a green flag, nothing like that. So you will have to use a reset timer. So if I hit the green flag, it'll reset that timer back to zero, which is really helpful. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure that that's not activated right now, continually reset. But then the other thing we can do is we can use an if. And actually, we're going to want to put a forever around this too, so it continually checks. And we're going to do an if here so if you know we have a little option here what do we want to put in well if we go to sensing this is not going to fit in here right so the timer this is not going to fit over here but if we drag that out we're going to need that here in a little bit but we do have operators and this is kind of what's used in this a lot of times is the operators so what we want to do is say if the timer we're going to drag this here and add timer in if it's greater than a certain number then we're going to say that, you know, time's up. We'll drag this out here and just say, your time is up. Okay. And now 50 seconds we could do, let's go ahead and just set it to 10 seconds. So now if we hit our green flag, it's going to reset the timer. And if forever, it's going to check our if, if the timer is greater than 10. And if that occurs, we're just going to say, your time is up. So this would be very useful in a game. Maybe you have a Pac-Man game that you want to run or something like that. Just a simple way to do this. So let's go ahead and hit the green flag. It's going to reset our timer. And as we watch our timer tick down here, once we get greater than 10 seconds, it will then say reset timer. And then it will actually what we should probably do. Let's go ahead and stop that for a second. So it did pop up with the message here. But one other thing we need to do is we need to go to sensing here and add a reset into this as well so that it says time is up resets the timer and goes back and does its thing again so let's go ahead and hit the green flag resets it back to zero and then if we kind of just sit here and wait patiently it will eventually get greater than 10 seconds and when it does that it's going to say your time is up it will reset the timer and we can go ahead and wait for it to do that as well do it again now one thing you do have to be careful with this We'll test this out and see. I believe because of the way the program would work, its order of operations, it would reset the timer. It should actually say that. So let's go ahead and put the reset timer above this and let's just see what happens. Go ahead and hit the green flag, hit reset. And I think because it's in the if, it should do reset timer and then go ahead and say your time is up. Yep, and it reset that, so that's the perfect way to do this, is just put the reset timer in front of this, and then anything you want to do, maybe you want, you know, characters to move back to the beginning, you could have this built in with all of your characters for a game, you know, coins that you're collecting, whatever, you could have them all reset. And it just runs forever for you. All right, so hopefully that helps you with this, just a very simple um, timer. I'll have another video out later about how to make a more advanced one using the variables. But this works really well and uses the built-in timer. Hopefully that helps with your coding. Good luck.